around about 2015, and uh, there are some uh, scrappers completely vandalizing this place right now. So I'm going to try to get in, film this, and get out because I think the cops are on their way because I ran into this somebody that was going to call the cops because they're totally destroying this place. So uh, let's get to it. This seems to be the uh, breakfast area. Bunch of red straws on the floor. Coffee maker. A bathroom in there. All right, we're gonna go into this other entry since there seems to be uh, no way to get it any farther from where I was, just in that little uh, check-in area. So we'll check in here. Very small. Of course, glass everywhere. Make our way upstairs. Yo. It's crazy. Something tells me somebody might be staying in this room. They have a way of uh, barricading this door. We got some beer, some chips on the ground, a lighter. Lots of smoking going on. There's some, which was fresh vegetables at the time, onions, lettuce, not sure what else. Bananas there behind the chips. Fruit flies in here like crazy though. This one's somewhat barricaded. Nothing in it though. This is the uh, back of the uh, the main building. I didn't get over to the second uh, to the to the other building just yet. Just noticed all the stuff laying back here. Exercise bike. I mean, the scrappers are even going as far as taking all that stuff down. The metal siding, what they could pull off. That's creepy, there's a stick with a wig hanging on it, hanging out the window. I've been to some smashed up places, destroyed hotels, but this is definitely up there. Let's check in here. So 
we got a lounge this way. We'll check that out. Oh. This just seems to be storage for maintenance. Okay, we checked the uh, storage there for the maintenance. Holy fuck, that scared me. Sorry about the cursing. Uh, okay, so this is the lounge area. Or what was the lounge. Okay, now we're gonna work our way over to this other building now. Three floors, probably three floors of trash. Let's peek in one of these ground floors. Okay, so these ones have two mattresses on these ones. Connected to the next room. You can just see all the way down every single room the glass sliding doors are busted out. It's down here. Washing machines. Well, at least it's something different. Gotta take a look around the side of the building here. Looks like there was a fire at one time. All the siding is completely melted. <laughs> and this piece here looks like a ghost hanging on the light fixture that was there. That's pretty neat. Wow. There is a ton of garbage down here. That is all garbage that you are seeing. just all dumped along the side of this building. It's crazy and a shame. Don't open, dead inside. Now let's have a look. Man, look at that hallway. Over here we have uh, steps that go up. All right guys, so I'm in the second building now. I just got, was talking to those two guys that were, I thought were vandals that were, well, I mean, I guess they kind of are. They were taking, they're stripping the place of the copper and the aluminum and all that other stuff, but I mean, I do kind of feel bad for them because they're both of them are homeless and they're just hanging out here and they're just trying to make a dollar to get by, so I'm not gonna not gonna cause any more problems for them. really barricaded. So is that one. Alright, so check it out. I was talking to the two guys that were homeless that are basically living here. 
and stripping it apart for the aluminum to, to just get a few dollars you know to get by to the next day and uh it kind of they told me a lot of information about this place which was cool because i couldn't find much but uh they said that this second building had a fire and uh they saved they it got shut down and they only used the first building for uh up until 2015 it was just still open but this one was closed for a couple years because of the fire and the owner actually lit the uh, caught this place on fire on purpose and for insurance money all right and so then he uh tried to light the uh, second one the the first building that i was in on fire he, he got they got caught for uh insurance fraud so uh that's when you saw i showed you the uh picture of the um the clip with the uh siding that was melting down i guess that was still from the fire from how long ago so yeah and now the owner i guess split and is in it and he was a uh, indian or something like that and he's in another country and uh so that's that's that and so they can't get a hold of him and uh so now this place is just sitting here and now being occupied by the homeless so uh i thought the history of this place was pretty cool uh i mean it's completely trashed but I do really feel bad for those guys. So uh, I'm gonna end it here, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in a, maybe a couple days. I have another location coming up that I wanna check out. So uh, I'll see you then.